Petroleum is today's leading energy source. It moves the world and drives development. Nearly everything we see and everything that surrounds us is generated from products derived from oil. However, we have to look back into time when none of this existed and immerse ourselves in the sea and the earth in order to learn about the origins of this same petroleum that we're using today. During certain geological periods, the concentration of organic material in the sediments on the seabed were particularly high. And organic material is the main ingredient for petroleum generation. We're referring to the source rock. But how does the source rock generate hydrocarbons? And why do hydrocarbons flow through the subsurface? To produce hydrocarbons, the source rock requires high temperatures and long periods in terms of geological time. In other words, millions of years. Once the hydrocarbons have been expelled from the source rock, they move through the subsurface thanks to the porosity and permeability of certain rocks. The porosity and permeability of the rocks also makes it possible for them to store hydrocarbons. But apart from that, a cap rock is required to allow the hydrocarbons to accumulate in the subsurface and prevent them from migrating to the surface. Furthermore, a fifth element is needed. The trap. Finding subsurface traps is one of the main tasks during the exploration phase for oil and gas. So, how do we find them? Well, through acoustic or seismic waves. This is accomplished by generating sound waves which reflect off the surfaces of the rock layers. The process works as follows. The area to be surveyed is mapped out. Receivers are set up to record the seismic waves on the surface. A survey is carried out using acoustic waves and the time which elapses between the emission of the sound waves and their return is measured. The data is stored in digital format for further mathematical processing and in this way a spatially corrected image of the strata is obtained, illuminating any subsurface geometries or traps. Once these tasks are completed, the land is restored to its original condition. An exploratory well may be drilled in those areas where the geoscientists have predicted that the five key elements and processes converge – source rock, generation and migration, storage, cap rock and trap. The exploratory well makes it possible to determine the presence of hydrocarbons. Even in the event of negative drilling results, the data obtained is of great value because it allows conclusions to be drawn on whether it's worth continuing exploration in the area or not. A discovery. Is the project economically viable? Very important. Have studies of both environmental and social impact been undertaken? Before drilling, different environmental and socio-cultural impacts caused by the project are analysed according to the company's internal norms and in accordance with different national and international laws. And now that we have the go-ahead from an environmental authorities and local communities, let's start drilling. For this purpose, we use a perforating head, which consists of a drill bit connected to the surface with a drill string formed by threaded steel pipes. During the drilling process, more sections are screwed on as the well gets deeper. The perforating head is kept cool and clean with a fluid called drilling mud. A valve system controls pressure and there's a security system which prevents uncontrolled flows reaching the surface. We've reached the reservoir rock. Once the rock, which hopefully contains hydrocarbon, has been drilled, probes are introduced into the well to measure different physical parameters, both of the rocks and of the fluids in their pores. These measurements determine if the rock contains hydrocarbons or not. If the answer is positive, a casing pipe is inserted in the borehole and held in place with cement. 
The following step will be the production test and if successful, the oil well is put into production. After exhaustion of the well's reserves, the well and its infrastructure are dismantled and removed. During the whole process of exploration and production, maximum attention is given to safety and security in order to avoid negative consequences on people, facilities, production, the environment and to achieve relationships based on closeness, trust and transparency. During exploration and production, people, safety, quality and environmental protection are given maximum priority. SEPSA To be greater is our most thrilling challenge. <laughs>